it's really changed Quinn's quality of life on a daily basis. They're natural, they're professional, and they're loving. And what more can you ask for? It's been amazing the whole journey and you know there's obviously been frustration and tears and you know I don't want to go to tutoring followed by I love tutoring and you know we've we've rode the roller coaster and last year especially what I loved is his teachers would tell me he spends his class free time reading a chapter book if you would have told me in the third grade that he would be in the fifth grade reading a chapter book when we were still reading first grade books and he saw other students excelling I would not have believed you to see him go from you know being in third grade and reading at a first grade level to being in fifth grade and reading on level and loving to read it's been amazing in the beginning it was frustration and not just on his part and I think that's important for parents to understand you know we were so frustrated too, and homework was a nightmare. He knows that he's smart, and he is smart. He's a normal kid, but the reading is a frustration, and so he wonders, why is it easy for everyone else and not for me? And the homework that should have taken, according to the teacher, 30 minutes, you know, we would almost never finish. It would be two and a half hours later, time for bed, and everyone's frustrated and tired. So um, that was huge now to come in and find out that homework does take 30 minutes. We were going everywhere trying to get him the help we thought he needed. What are we doing wrong? So there's a lot of guilt sometimes from the parent, but then you're trying to help your child and you just feel helpless. And so that helplessness and then feeling like the school district was not on our side and just not knowing where to turn. The representative from the school district says to me, we don't recognize dyslexia. And at that point, I just knew. And, and, and it, I was done because they were not going to change the game. They were not gonna look at my son as an individual. And they were denying a, a diagnosis. After he came here, he started like spontaneously reading signs and the power he felt from that and the validation and we were we were amazed we were like wow he just read that sign you know and it was such a fun time for us when he started spontaneously just reading things and I love the fact that he gained a sense of humor about words so like the funny signs that they write you know on certain he'd read that and he'd go that's funny you know he 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 felt that joy too it's really changed Quinn's quality of life on a daily basis. Just that added aspect that it is part of the mission of the church. I feel that comes into the tutoring session. You know, you if you're dealing with someone at a level where you know you're doing God's work, it changes how you deal, how it changes the outcome. It adds power to it. They're natural, they're professional, and they're loving. And what more can you ask for? He's getting everything that he needs. To the community of the church, I would say, I don't know many of you, and you don't know my son, but for the rest of his life, he's gonna feel the impact of what you've made possible. It, you know, so many, we're in a modern age, we're losing sometimes that closeness of community and it took a community to make this possible. So on his behalf and my husband's behalf, thank you.